If you guys want to get your team stacked fast, stop popping packs, head over to my sponsor, Easy Mutt, for the safest and cheapest coins on the block. Use code MONDI for 5% off at checkout. Enjoy. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video. And guys, in this video, we're going to be going over an insane coin making method. And we have our weekend league rewards. But before we get started, 100K giveaway every Monday. All you got to do is subscribe and comment 100K down below. Let's get into the video, guys. Guys, last night, that Ravens Colts game was absolutely insane, man. And I thought I definitely lost my fantasy football matchup. But I had Mark Andrews in my lineup. I was down 40 plus going into this, and he had Blankenship. And I had Andrews. Guys, I lost by three points. On that final OT drive, I really thought Mark Andrews was going to get the job done for me, but he didn't. But still, shout out to Mark Andrews, man. I dropped 160 and still lost. Very upsetting. But. That's not the main point of this video. Um, if your weeks were ruined or made by Mark Andrews or Lamar Hollywood Brown, let me know. Or Jonathan Taylor, let me know in the comment section below. But let's get into the video. So, as you guys can see, we got uh, our weekend league rewards. We got 70K right here. We're going to go ahead and quick sell that. There we go. And let's get into the packs. Um, we pulled some heat. I want to say it was... I want to say it was last week. Well, I don't remember what we pulled, but we pulled something pretty good. I, I forgot what. Oh, it was a. Uh, was it a veteran? It was a veteran. Oh, it was veteran 91 Jason McCordy. So hopefully we can pull some heat right here. Hail Mary pack, no good right there. Let's see our second one. Hail Mary packs are never really good. Honestly, low key midfield packs are a little bit slept on. They're pretty fire, if you ask me. So let's go and see, guys. Team of the Week's still not out, so we're going to put this at the start of the video. Then we're going to get into the coin-making method. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Elite. There we go. Elite in the midfield. You guys already know the drill. Midfield always blessing with something. I'll take that. Nice little 83 Eric Kendricks right there. A power-up. Give me Jamal Adams. Dalvin Tomlinson. Take that. Another Elite. 82 Darius Slay, which is good because he just got a team of the week. So that could go for a little, a little cheddar. Here we go. Red zone. Superstar repeat. Give me 86. 83. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take that. Give me another elite. Oh, give me 86. 79. I'll take it. All right. Last red zone. Then we're going to get into our coin making method. Here we go. Can we pull some heat? Hit it from the back. Gold. We're going to go back to the front. Another gold. Oh, I don't think we're going to get one. Nope, no elites in the red zone. All right, that was terrible. All right, guys, so let's get into the coin making method. All right, guys, we are back, and we are here to talk about the rest of this coin making method. So, really, guys, there are two coin making methods to this one. One of them requires a little bit of patience, and the other one is a little risky. So, you guys decide what you want to do, and um, let's get into it. So, First of all, Team of the Week is officially out, guys. If you guys don't know that, it's officially out. Finally, it took about time. EA just decides that they don't really want to drop content anymore, I guess. They're getting a little lazy with it. But head over to Quality, 88 to 89. You guys know the deal with this part. I have not posted a coin making method on this already. So, um, yeah, this is a new method, 45K. That's a snipe price right there, guys. You're going to want to snipe these guys for around 45 to 50K. Um, right now, as you can see, 49 and 50k. If you could snipe them for around 40, like 50k and below, that's the best price you're gonna get these guys for these new 88 overall team of the weeks. So, honestly, I would say if you can get it for 45k, you're in business. Um, I would probably try and go for that for around that price. As you can see, there's a bunch up for like 50 to 52 to uh, 50, 50 to 52k. So if you could try and snipe these guys out. For about 45 to 50k, 45k seems to be like the ideal price right now, if I'm being completely honest. Try and get these guys for as cheap as possible, stalk the market, snipe out as many as you can. For the one method, so I was doing some math, and before Team of the Week dropped, I was looking at the old 88s. Um, and you don't have to sell these guys next Tuesday or next Monday, uh, kind of just whenever it goes to this price. So, I was looking at the old 88, which was Marquise, not Marquise, uh, Debo Samuel and Marcus Williams. And they were going for around, as you can see, uh, they were going for around 60, 65K. You can see 84K here, but that's not where they were at. They're around like 65K. Say you could snipe these guys for around 45K. Keep building it up, building it up, building it up. 
whenever the market dies down a little bit for the team of the week cards, which is probably going to be on like Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, somewhere around this later this week, whatever you see, I'm not sure when it happens. But uh, it doesn't really matter if I'm sure or not when it happens because it does happen. I know for a fact it does happen. I just don't know when. But sometime later this week, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, somewhere around there, the market will die back down. These cards will rise back up because people are not pulling these out of packs anymore, which could be on, honestly maybe Thursday, Friday. Um, but yeah, somewhere around there, these guys are going to go back up. You sell them. I was doing some math. Say you pull them for 50. I thought these guys were going to be around for 50K, maybe even 45 now, which is way better profit. Yeah, 45K you could snipe these guys for right now. But what you could do is, is you could take these cards and wait and sell them and make a battle like a, I want to say like a 12 to 15K profit each time you sell them, which is honestly fire, first of all. If you keep doing, you can make a lot of coins. If you have a 500K, you invest 500K into this, you can make a lot of coins. Um, I did the reduction fee, 10% off of 65K is uh, 550 what was it again? I remember, I remember. I forgot. Let's see. Let's do it right now. I completely forgot what it was. But uh, five, ten percent off of sixty thousand. It was fifty four thousand. So that's off of sixty thousand. Fifty four thousand. You're going to be making uh, if you sell it for sixty k. So that's pretty fire right there. That's going to be an eight k profit. If you sell it for like sixty three, sixty five, whatever you sell it for, you're going to be making profit. So buying these cards right now, sniping them for around forty five k is the best way to do it. Selling them back up. Uh, whenever these cards rise back up at the end of the week, which they will because that's what they do every single week They start off for 45 k because everyone's popping these team of the week packs and then they rise back up because everyone is uh, Done with team of the week for the week. So that's the one method another method you could do We're getting wild card Wednesday tomorrow tomorrow might be the best day to make these coins guys as well So sniping these guys for 45 k like I've been saying and quick selling them for training You're gonna get 2,100 training for 45 k so let's go and take a look at the store really quick. So why does EA got to do that? Why? I, I went up, whatever, doesn't matter. So let's go back up, browse the store here, and let's go over to training. So guys, if we go over to Rising Stars, it's 89 plus, it's 4,000. One thing I want to say about this, guys, is we got veterans, and it went to 4,400. Our highest overall was a 91. Rising Stars is the same thing. So hopefully they only rise this to 4,400. Knowing EA, they probably won't, but if they do, that would be very, very fire. So hopefully we are praying for 4,400 for the rising stars. So now let's go back to the market and let's take a look. So 288, which is gonna be around 90K, is probably gonna get you one of those rising stars. One, like I said, this is a little risky, guys. The one thing I do wanna tell you is that, um, for this method, do it literally the second Rising Stars drops because it's a known thing that every Wild Card Wednesday, those rerolls are really good right when it drops. So as of right now, these guys aren't really going for a good amount. Um, if you pull probably one of these cards, I mean, quick selling it back wouldn't be too bad of an idea or just selling it back and making your coins. Um, tomorrow, those team of the weeks are also still going to be um, snipeable because they usually are on Wild Card Wednesday. They usually they were for me at least. Um, where's the oh I didn't I have to put in the ninety. So you guys can clearly see these guys are going for around sixty to seventy k, uh, maybe even a little bit more. Wild's going for around eighty k. Um, Divine Diablo is going for around hundred k. So I mean these some of these cards. I mean I, I, anything good to pull except for Etn and Zach Wilson to be honest with you. Um, but like I said, any, any method here, if you pull Divine, you're going to be making, you're going to be like losing nothing. If you may, if you pull Waddle, you're going to be also losing pretty much nothing. Uh, actually, no, no, no. Take that back. Divine Diablo, you're me making your coins back. So everything except the Divine Diablo and Patrick Sertain, you're going to be losing your coins. Um, Patrick Sertain, if you pull him, you're lucky. You're going to be making coins. Uh, Divine, you're going to be keeping the same amount. So basically guys you're gonna want to pull no zach wilson no jalen waddle and no etn you don't want any of those three and the odds of that are honestly in your favor if you really think about it because you got divine you got certain and then you got all the new ones coming tomorrow so hopefully ea blesses and right at the dot guys like i said you're gonna wanna 
you know, Poli, Poli's right at the dot. It's the only way. And guys, that's pretty much it for the video. That is the risky part of the coin making method. So if you guys did enjoy this video, man, smash the like button, subscribe, and turn that noti bell, and join the noti gang. Thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. Peace.